So we just got the gameplay trailer, for Battlefield 2042 Season 2, and there's a lot to get through for this incredible looking season, so let's get straight into it. We get a brand new map with Master of Arms called Stranded, set on a stranded ship in Panama, with a lot of indoor CQB environments for infantry, which also seems perfect for the new specialist, but we'll get into that later. The outside area seems great for vehicles to battle each other in, with lanes leading in and out of the main ship. It also seems like DICE is doubling down on natural disasters this season, as it features not one, not two, but seemingly three tornadoes at one time, a first for this game. Let's see if this is reflected in gameplay or just for the CGI trailer. Me personally, I'm expecting no more than two tornadoes at one time, although three would be really cool and they have included it here, so let's see. We have two new vehicles introduced, with one being a light transport buggy, the Polaris Razor, and the EB LC Ram, which is equipped with a large cannon and is more heavily armoured. It can also be seen here placing some sort of beacon down at this point in the map, which, upon further investigation, seems to place a spawn beacon that the whole team can spawn onto, so it seems like this one's going to be really useful for getting onto a point and getting a good anchor place for your team to spawn on. New weapons are also part of this content drop, with the vault weapons discussed in my last video coming with them too. Concerning new weapons though, we have the AM40 Assault Rifle, the Avancis LMG, and a new full auto secondary called the PF51. Portal gets new weapons for itself too, with the Org being one I'm particularly excited for, along with a rules editor for Conquest, which is incredibly exciting. Love to see what the community is going to do with that opens up a whole new roster of gamer possibilities for Portal. This is coupled with the knowledge that Portal, All Out Warfare and Hazard Zone will be merged into one menu for this season as stated by the blog post, so it's going to be a lot more accessible for players to get into Portal because they're not going to have to actively look for it and know what it is. It'll just be there, you can get straight into it with the server browser. On top of all this, we've got a new grenade, the Concussion Grenade, which is being added to the throwable arsenal, which will impair those who are hit with it. A new British specialist joins the fight in this season too, named Crawford. He has a mounted minigun along with the passive ability to provide gadget ammo to those he revives. This minigun will definitely create some hectic situations at choke points, such as C1 on exposure. Just imagine the Sundance grenades, frag grenades, and the miniguns causing chaos here. It's going to be really hard to push points, but there is a gap, as you can see, in the middle of the turret to shoot through, so a good marksman will be able to take out a Crawford in no time. This new map and specialist also tie back to the lore of 2042 the no-patch struggle against Oz, who seems to be attempting to orchestrate a war between what's left of Russia and the US. Now, if I get this wrong, Comet will come and kill me, and I'll explain who that is later, but Comet, if you're listening to this, I'm sorry if I get this law wrong, but here we go. Crawford is a weapons expert linked to the dark market that's in the game. This dark market is the explanation for the portal weapons being ported to All Out Warfare, and the new map seems to be a point of interest for Oz after his strike on the Rocky Mountains facility on the exposure map in Season 1. It's great seeing DICE add some more lore to the game, as it seemed like at launch, they were just going to focus on gameplay alone, but it's great to see the story being reincorporated back into the game with these CG trailers, and hopefully some events in-game will lead us to some more clues about what's going on and why this ship is a strategic point for Oz. Of course, we're getting a new battle pass, new cosmetics. There's a lot more coming. All of the content you can see is on screen right now listed. Let me know in the comments if you're excited for anything particular here. For me, probably the new weapons and new vehicles. The new vehicles themselves look really fun and I think they'll be utilized pretty well, especially that spawn point. Anyway, that's all the new content for this season. But tying into the lore we mentioned earlier and the guy Comet that I mentioned, he's creating a lore series in his website, The Exodus Archives, which is launching tomorrow. There's a link to the teaser below. Comet really knows their stuff and this series is going to be amazing. So stay tuned for that. As always, if you do want to come to talk to me or anybody else that does love this game, Head down to the link below to the No Salt Discord channel. This is where we talk about the game. We're talking about this new update right now. There's a lot of cool discourse and speculation and looking to find the details that you might have missed. So go check that out. I hope to see you there. So that'll be it for me and I'll see you again when the season launches. Until next time.